Hi everyone and welcome back to our series on Gravity Forms Better User Activation. In the last two videos we went over how to create your registration form, feed, and set up that notification email that contained the activation link that once clicked activated the user's account. In this video we're going to assign and customize the page that our users land on once they activate their account. I'll also be going over the four different activation views that are used to display content depending on the result of the attempted user activation. Are you ready? Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is head over to our forms and click perks. We wanna make sure that we have the Gravity Perk Better User Activation installed and ready to go. If you need help installing this perk, check out the first video in this series where we go over it in more detail. Now from here we can click settings and we're going to see two different drop downs. So this first drop down is going to be our user activation page. This is where we're going to select a page that our user will land on once they click the link in the activation email. So now let's actually close this window and head over to our pages and we can create a page specifically designated to be this landing page. So I'm going to head up to add new page. Feel free to call this page whatever you want. I'm going to go with activation page and then click publish. Now when we head back to this pop-up and we click the drop-down, we can click activation page or whatever you called your page. Now for the second drop-down, you can create a second page that can be a redirect page, which means if your user's activation is successful, it will automatically redirect to this page. For this video, we're just going to stick with this activation page so we can head down and click save settings. Now from here, we can close this window and we can go back to our pages. Then click edit next to the page that we created earlier. Now we can see that by assigning that page, we just got a whole new editor that we can use to customize our activation page. We can see that there are four different possible paths that our user will take once clicking their activation link. The first one is activation success. This means that everything went great and our users will be greeted with a your account is now active message with their username, password, and also a way to log in or go back home. Note that this information is not shown to the user if you chose to redirect to a custom activation page in the earlier window. Now at this point you might be wondering what this GPBUA colon username is. These are called merge tags and we're going to see them a lot when we're setting up the four different possible paths that our users get to when trying to activate their account. You can see a few of the merge tags here on screen, but a full list of all merge tags is available in the documentation for Gravity Forms Better User Activation, which is available on the Gravity Wiz website, and I'll link that down in the description below. So for example, on our activation success page, we're using these merge tags to show the users their username, password, and give them a link to log in or go back home. If you want to use a merge tag, you can also go to the bottom here and click, and you can get a list of all the merge tags, and you can just automatically insert by clicking. It's worth noting that no matter what tab we're on on the left side here, we can completely customize the content of what is inside of this box. So feel free to use merge tags and your own words to create a page that makes sense for your users. The next option is already active, and if we give that a click, we'll see that we get a message that tells the user that their account is already active. This usually happens when users are so eager to activate that they click the link multiple times. You'll see this paragraph contains some information about logging in and retrieving your password and login instructions. The next option below is no key. Typically, users will see this form if they try to copy and paste the link from the email, or if the link somehow got broken in the email layout. Luckily in this situation, our gravity perk will automatically show an activation key form so the users can manually enter their key. Our last option is other error, which is kind of a catch-all for anything else that can happen that would go wrong during the activation process. If this happens, our users will be greeted with this message and will be even given an error message that may help them understand what went wrong during the activation process. All right, I wanna show you guys all four of these pages in action. The very first one we saw in the last video, your account is now active. We have our username and the password. It says that we set that at registration. And then we have those links that we uh, set with the merge tags, the login and back to home. This is what the error screen looks like. We have an error occurred during the activation and we even get that error message, invalid activation key. Here's our no key page where we have a field where we can input our activation key manually and click activate. And lastly, this is our already active page, which says your account is already active and it gives us instructions like how we can log in or we can reset our password. And just like that, we have a few different possible landing pages that our users can land on when attempting to activate their account. Gravity Forms Better User Activation makes it easy to create and customize the entire registration and activation process so that it's easy for your users to create and activate their account on your website. If you want to make your users' lives even easier when registering for an account, click the video on the screen now to learn how to enable auto login after the user activation. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.